these are the toilet seat covers that I love so much. You know, it's, as is what it says, I mean, so, but anyway, that's not the reason why I love them so much. The reason why I like this so much is that, you know, if these guys can pick up the barcode, you know, scan it, I guess, I know that's how it works. And you can probably buy one yourself. And here's that right there. Maybe I get a better picture of it. I don't know if you can pause it and scan it and maybe you can find this one, you know? But it's really nice. I'm gonna open the box and show you the contents inside and we're gonna put it on the toilet. So this is the real reason why I love this. You know, these are to the toilet lid. So you just plug these into here. It's kind of like the stopper. I don't know why they don't come already on. You know, they make things difficult. So people have to hire other people. So I'm happy. But the real reason is this design right here you know so say you have the hole you know you put the screw in right here and then this thing comes up inside the hole and it squeezes at the tighter you make it the tighter it squeezes and this design never comes loose because I had a problem with my other toilet seat and it would always come loose and make me very mad. And I bought this and I never had a problem, you know? I never had to reset it or tighten it again. I mean, it's just a great design. And I think Kohler is the only one that has this design and if you were just to order just the bolts, you would have to order them online. And you just get the um, name off the box and just order them offline. So. So this is a Kohler as well, but apparently she doesn't like this. I don't know why. I guess this is an old style one with just a regular bolt. This isn't the locking bolt. So it probably comes unloose. I mean, judging from the way this looks, she probably kept tightening it up and tightening it up and stripping this out because it's plastic. So I'm going to take this off. Just put your hand under here and spin it. Start spinning it off. You know, and let's see. This doesn't feel like the one with the locking bolt. So I, I assume that it comes undone because every time in the past, you know, I had problems with the, with the ones that don't have the locking mechanism. See how this one is? This one doesn't have no locking mechanism. It just has like four holes and you know, it's just, just how it is, you know? And it just over time, you know, you're moving your butt back and forth and it just, it's like that. And it comes unloosened and it's a problem because you need to tighten it up and it's just, I don't like it, but if you do have that problem, get, I would just get the whole, and not just the bolts, just get the whole tool seat cover because the, them plugs that I put in earlier, that's the rubber stopper and it's better than this glass stopper or whatever it is, plastic just because the tool is seat and that gives it extra support so you're not wiggling around the tool is seat and if it happens to it won't ever come loose on you 
and you know, you just have a better time taking a poop. So this is the new one. I'll put it on and you just uncap the cap. This is from the back and from the front to the back. So see, and then you just put your bolt in. And careful not to tighten them too tight because this is plastic. Although it gets tight, you know, just tight is good. And I have to over tighten it a little bit, but not too much to kind of damage everything. You know, I got a little bit of muscle, so I make it pretty tight. So I'm not saying you're weak, but just don't overdo it. You should know when you're gonna overdo it. Just make it nice and snug. And you see this goes on the back and then you just push it up. It's like, it's like it goes all the way up the screw. And then, and then you can start, you know what I mean? If they make it really easy for you. So you can push the whole thing on the screw and then tighten it up instead of spinning it all the way up. And you know, that's it. Happy pooping.